Okay, so you guys were asking for a rant from me last night during the live stream. I honestly didn't have the energy for it. I had slept like absolute dog shit the night before. This morning, I have the energy for the rant. Okay. Yo, hold on, hold on, buddy. <coughs> Fucking, it's like putting three rounds into the bag trying to scream. Okay, first of all, Oscar Valdez is a cheating fucking cocksucker who tested positive for both his A and his B sample. The Reynoso team is full of fighting fucking cheating cocksuckers they have that have no balls. They cannot win a fair fight without using PEDs and, bri and bribing judges. That stupid fucking nose ring idiot from Harlem now had... Casta Charlo beating Castano eight rounds to four, Rigondeaux beating uh, Casemiro, and now he's got Valdez beating the Brasilino, Consecao. You're a fucking biased, racist fucking fanboy. You're the, you're the Hispanic version of 78 Sports TV, you nose ring, 40 year old backpack and fitted hat wearing cocksucker. Now, we had fucking Canelo Alvarez over there screaming in the fucking corner with, with fucking clenbuterol and herbal tea popping out of his fucking jugular over there because even he, even he knows that Oscar Valdez lost that fucking fight last night. It wasn't even remotely close. Gonza I had it eight, I had it eight rounds to three and one even. The one even round being the one that they took the point of. When, when fucking Consacayo gave Valdez a little noogie on the top of the head. He's a fucking cheating cocksucker. Now, anyways. And to add insult to injury, to add insult to injury, to add insult to injury, Oscar Valdez is refusing to give him his hair follicle test. Not only did he piss dirty for the A sample, the B sample... He's in a camp of known, cheating, bribing fuckers. He's re now refusing to get, now he's refusing to give them their hair follicle. Ask Tim Bradley. That's why in the beginning of the broadcast, Tim Bradley was going off the way he did. He doesn't want to give him his hair sample either. He's a fucking cheater. See, if you guys know how to read body language, I was taught the pantomime as a young kid. My father's the heavyweight champion of Sicilian liars, okay? If you know how to read body language, everything in, in Oscar Valdez's fucking demeanor said that I'm a cheater. I have a guilty conscience. His eyes were looking all over the place. He was fucking nervous, sweating that herbal tea out like the cheating little fucking prick that he is. And the, and, and the Brazilian beat the fucking dog shit out of him and got hosed last night. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. I don't even like Shakur Stevenson like that. I think he's a boring, he's a little bit of boring. Um, he's a little bit of a punk. But now, now, I, I am ranked number one. One, I hope, I hope, I hope Shakur Stevenson or Herring, whoever comes out on top of that fight, I hope they go in there and they fucking, ugh, I hope they break Oscar Valdez's fucking face wide open and he never fights again. That fucking little pansy cheating cocksucker, Canelo Jr. He he needed he needed steroids, bribed judges, a fake ref, and he still couldn't win people. He still lost this fight. Even with all those perks, all those unfair advantages he was given in this fight, he still couldn't win. You understand? He had roids, he had redone. And another thing, the commentary. The fucking com... Well, okay. Andre Ward's scorecard. He was right for the first four, four rounds. Okay, he was right for the first four rounds. Then he totally took a fucking left field and just, no, nope, Valdez won that, Valdez won that, Valdez won that. And the copy of everything speak of corruption. First of all, this fight shouldn't even, again, first of all, this fucking fight shouldn't even have been sanctioned. He pissed dirty for steroids. Then, after you give him the steroids, you
you give him a fucking ref who, who's taking a point for getting a pat on the head, then on top of that, he still couldn't fucking win. Oscar Valdez sucks. Canelo sucks. The Reynoso's suck. And if you support these cheating fucking cocksuckers, fuck you. Now, anyways, now another thing, and another thing on top of that, you can't be concerned about the safety of the fi fighters if you're supporting a bunch of steroided up, cheating, corrupt cocksuckers. You have, if you're a fan of Canelo Valdez, the Reynosos, or any of these cheating cocksuckers, you have no respect for the sport of boxing. You're not a fan for the sport of boxing. You are a fucking fanboy, just like Nose Ring Boy from Harlem over there. Okay? This stupid fuck had Charlotte beating Castaño eight rounds before, had Rigondeaux beating Casemiro, and now he's got Valdez beating Concecao. He's a fucking biased fanboy. And so are all of his little buddies, fanboys. Like I said, they're, they are the Latino version of the LDBC. No, make no fucking mistake about it. They told, me, uh, they told me on the phone in so many words when we still used to be cool. And I can make a whole separate fucking video about that if you guys want me to. Okay? Don't let's stick to Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy's going to tell you the truth like I always do. So help me God. If you support Valdez, Canelo, Ray Vargas, Luis Neri, Julio Cesar Martinez, or any of the above, you are a piece of shit. You have no respect for the sport of boxing. You're supporting corruption and steroid abuse that actually, that actually is putting these fucking fighters' lives at risk. You fucking dirt neck turkey fucking pieces of shit. Fuck Oscar Valdez. Fuck Canelo Alvarez. Fuck Fat Chepo Reynoso. And fuck all their fanboys. Oh, you fucking... Well, you, every, Oscar Valdez's face was so fucking mangled up, you could see herbal tea and clembuterol dripping off his face like one of the dudes at the end of the Raiders of the fucking Lost Ark. The little cheating prick. And then he's got the ball. And then Canelo's screaming in the fucking third row... <laughs> what a first of all this fight shouldn't even have happened the t kid tested positive for steroids then he couldn't even win legitimately he had to he had to bribe a ref bribe the judges and use steroids and to lose disgraces to the sport of boxing people please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe god bless you and if you support these cocksuckers go fuck your mother and I'm out.